Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> hey girl, Kanisha, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back, my loves. Welcome back. Typically, I like talking about luxury lifestyle and mindset. So today's mental reset is it's my first Vlogmas. And I'm doing a collab with at Dawn Loves Couture. And it's because of Dawn that I actually am doing this Vlogmas. So it's amazing. Go check out Dawn. She's fabulous. Turns out we're actually sisters from other misters because we have everything in common that you can imagine love the same bags have the same aches and pains love shopping <laughs> found my shopping buddy we went to louis vuitton and then we went to chanel at the neiman marcus we did some shopping you guys we'll have to stay tuned to see what we got but today's video and vlogmas is all about what's in store at louis vuitton so come and meet me and dawn as we were meeting each other for the first time have some fun with us and, um, then, and then I'll come back. Look at me looking for Dawn while Dawn's looking for me. <laughs> Look at us looking for each other. Well, where are we going, Dawn? We are going to King of Prussia. We shall we shall we shall we shall we? saw me and Dawn together for the first time. So now we're gonna go into the store. So what happened when we got in the store, first of all, is um, my CA, my client advisor, greeted us. She was wonderful. She offered us some hot chocolate and cookies that they had going on in Louis Vuitton. So that was very welcoming. We're getting the full treatment. Dawn is shopping. She says she's looking for jewelry. I guess you'll find out later what she gets. We've got some. Hot chocolate, cheers, and cookies, yum. We are just having a ball. Dawn had already in her mind exactly what she wanted to buy and start taking a look at, and then she made some alternative decisions. So you'll see her video go finish watching mine and then make sure you go watch Dawn's or go watch Dawn's and then come back and watch mine. But either way, she ended up taking a look at some pieces uh you will not know from me what she got but i will insert the video here i was personally not sure i was going to buy anything because I had already bought the whole store for the whole of 2024, you guys. I had already done my damage for the whole of 2024. But then I can't believe it. My client advisor comes and she's like, oh, we have denim in house. Do you want to see it? They're the first pieces in. I'm like, do I want to see it? Lady, I was like, you had me at denim in house. So we ran around the corner. This was the short that I did and we they started laying out all the denim pieces, you guys. And I kid you not, I was in denim heaven. I love denim. I'm looking forward to the collection that's coming. You should stay tuned and subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel. But let me just talk about these denim pieces, you guys. Like, let's just talk about it. She started laying out these pieces on the table. So let's just talk about it one by one. First of all, there's got to be like 10 different denim pieces coming, maybe like more than 10. And I must have bought definitely. OK, so there's got to be like maybe 15 denim pieces coming. I must have bought eight, nine or 10 pieces. OK, so what I'm going to say, besties, when it comes to Louis Vuitton and finances, I would not suggest you go and just buy any season if it's not your jam. If it's your jam, I missed out on the Marc Jacobs release line years ago, but if it's your jam, go for it. Because it might be another 20, 30 years later that it comes back around 10 times higher. Okay, so they're coming out with the Venice backpack. I will insert pictures of the Venice backpack. I was originally, oh, that's right. When I was going to the store, I was thinking I was going to buy the Venice backpack. But do you know what happened? They had it in store and I got to try it on. So I'm going to search some pictures because what happened was I realized that maybe it was a little too small. I mean, I, even smaller than the excursion backpack, if you can believe it. I don't think I think it is even smaller than the excursion backpack. So I changed my mind on buying the Venice 
and it was like $3,400. So instead, I said, oh, well, let me just take a look at all the rest of the denim pieces because I had bought basically everything else. I saw the high rise in person. It's gorgeous. Those D-rings, they are everything. They are very generous in size, even bigger than the original high rise. I'm in love. And all those studs everywhere is the defining signature detail of this line that I adore. I love the high rise. They have the little pochette hills. I gotta tell you, Dawn reached for that before I did. I was looking at everything else, but we will come back to the pochette hills because I feel like she is the reason why oh, she is the enabler of all enablers. After looking at the pochette hills, the Venice, and the high rise, you guys, then they pull out the Kusa, they pull out the Sunset Pleaty, they pull out the Carriol, they pull out the On The Go, and I was just like, just take these home with me now. <laughs> no, they're, they're not for sale right now. Okay, so let's just talk about the Kusa. The Kusa has beautiful leather, interior it's different from the last ones i think it is the last ones had microfiber interior this cousin is denim on the outside beautiful creamy leather on the inside what they're saying is so you can wipe it whatever you can wipe it down whatever they want to say to justify this price i guess but that's still a no for me it's just it was beautiful but it was still a no the sunset pleaty bag when i tell you I got the shock of my life with this bag. I got the shock of my life in a good way. And I'm gonna insert the video. So the Sunset Pleaty is as gorgeous as we all imagined. And in person, it's even more stunning and upfront. And what made it even better, shockingly, was the fact that there is an extension on the strap. We all thought it was one short little shoulder strap that you couldn't even detach the, sh the shoulder strap from. It turns out inside, when you go into the pleaty, there's another extension to the strap to make it cross body. Who knew? I was so thrilled. Plus the pockets are cute. The denim is cute. The hardware is popping. All in all, thumbs up. Let's take a look at the carryall. You guys, when I tell you the first thing I did when I picked up the carryall was look at the bottom and check for feet. So fast so fast pleasantly happy the feet are there they are intact looking good yes i think we will complain to the end of our days why louis did not put a zipper in because they did it on the cousin they did it on that little pochette hills ah but not on this carryall bag it would have been outstanding right so I know I'm not alone. You all, I hope, are dropping your comments below. What do we think about this collection? What do we think? Are you all with me or are you all like, ah, it's denim, Kenesha. Okay, okay. I'm gonna rock my denim. So I love the studs on the hand strap. Obviously, you can make it cross body. Take a careful look at all of this fachetta, my loves, and be ready to do what you wanna do to protect it, not protect it, rock it, tan it, be ready. But those studs are everything inside it comes with a denim little pouch it's beautiful okay carry all thumbs up do you know what we have to talk about though we have to talk about the on the go <sighs> last year when i bought my denim loop i also bought the on the go and i thought it was so gorgeous i ended up returning it because it didn't hold my laptop why, when I'm looking at this on the go, trying it on, I'm falling in LV love. I was just like, you know what? I think I really like it. I just wish it had feet. I think that's what's missing from it. But the addition of these studs on the handle, the long strap handles, it sort of compensates and makes up for the missing studs on the bottom, I feel like. Like, I really adored this on the go, and I don't have one. And for whatever reason, I really am struck that I like this Fachetto model because I really thought I would have preferred last year's model with the leather rolled handles and everything. But this is the one that is stuck in my head, and I think it has everything to do with those studs on the strap. So if you're on the fence with the on-go, 
hop off real fast, get on it. I really think it's gonna go. And I'm really thinking I should get it before, before I regret it. Oh, is that my new one? Get it before you regret it? <laughs> you know, every year I come up with a new saying. So let's see what else, let's see what else. Okay, let's come back to the Pochette Hills. So I really was not even going to look at this little thing. I'm not even gonna lie. For $1,800, I wasn't even gonna give it two seconds worth of my time. However, Dawn, Dawn did the ultimate move on me. You know what she did? She put a phone inside. And when she did that, and my eyes opened and saw that, I feel like it was a wrap. I wasn't even gonna pay this piece no mind. But why can't I get it out of my head now? Thank you, Dawn. Thanks, girl. Let's move on from denim because we're still not done. We are not done. Not only were they showing us the denim pieces coming, they're showing us everything that's coming like in January. Like everything that's coming out in the first month of the year is here. Jump on it if you want it. So they've got this bag called the Malibu. It reminds me of the Ivy Walk. Even the essay said it, the manager. And it's so gorgeous. Why is it so pretty? Mm -mm -mm. Is it a re-release? I feel like this looks a little familiar. Next one. I think the next one is called the Marais. And this one is definitely a re-release, I remember. The, what bothers me is it has no feet on it. But what's so cute about it is it has these little butterfly clips for your hair. Your kid's hair. Oh my god. Anyway, the bag is for me, obviously, but that clip is for her, okay? These bags are so cute. And then the Alma, let me tell you, you guys, I've never seen a more beautiful Alma. <laughs> it's one of the classic bags, right? I don't have any, I don't have an Alma, but I swear, this bag, my eyes got hooked to the bling everywhere. And then I turned over the bottom of the bag and I saw the feet and I, and the fascetta. I saw the feet and the fascetta and I feel like it was a wrap. This game was over. So stay tuned for more. Let's move on. Let's move on because, you know, I'm gonna tell you, I had to take a look at these croissant bags. You know, these little croissant looking shaped bags. I call them the kidney bean bags. So I had to take a look at the kidney bean bags and I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think. I think this is still not for me. <laughs> I don't think it's for me. I definitely don't. But you know what was cute about it was that little strap. It, I think this bag is different. It, it appeared different to me in person than online is what I'll say. So if you really like this bag online in the pictures, you should take a look at it in store because the strap was really cute and it had those little studs on it. And I thought, you know, I think like somebody might actually like this bag, but I think I'm more into like the, the more traditional styles, the classic looking styles, and I'll put in those pictures too. You know what even made it cuter in my mind, in my eyes was the locks on it. Her pools are little LV locks. I was like, oh my God, that is so precious. They should have done that on the Alma. <laughs> They should have done that on all the bags. I think that's so cute. Those were the bags that I looked at. Now you have to go over and watch Dawn to see what she looked at, okay? So that is all for this video. Now you saw what was in store at Louis Vuitton. Obviously, you have to come back for part two to see what Dawn and I got into our little client gift and our little mini haul, which is coming next, okay? If you are with me to the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you are followed and you're subscribed. You go and follow me on Instagram and TikTok to help me grow there so that you can stay informed on what's going on when I'm selling things or when I'm giving things away. I try to like pass all the information around, but if I miss one spot, then I try to hit another. So thanks you guys for tuning in and until the next That's video. That's what the two colors are. And if you are into eyeliner, I'm not into a lot of makeup, but I love eyeliner. And so if you're into eyeliner, and you're looking for one of the eyeliners, I'm giving away one Cassis, I'm giving away one Verit video, and do a short of everything that I'm giving away. And if you're interested in skincare, 
if you're interested in eyeliner, if you're interested in perfume, I have Hermes perfume, I have Louis Vuitton perfume. If you are interested in a Louis Vuitton catalog, an Hermes catalog, a Chanel catalog, a Clinique handbag, you guys, I am giving it all away. I'm going to make a video for you all. So without further ado, let's get back into this video. So 